Hey guys, my name's Seath Goes Boom, and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So Dr. Cortex has asked us to deliver the crystals to Dr. Engine and... Crash, you okay? You're getting bored again, man. Should we just go into the level? Alright, fine, let's just go into the level then, jeez. So he wants us to give the crystals to Engine, but Coco has told us that Cortex is evil. So Crash is not going to fall for any of his tricks. Dodging keeps you safe and makes it harder to aim. Yeah, Crash isn't falling for any of his tricks, so you can get wrecked, Engine. Heck no, you're not getting these crystals, man. You guys are evil. We know your tricks. Come on, take this. Feel the wrath of Wampa Fruit. Oh, that's cool. He actually throws them now. In the original, the Wampa Fruit just kind of appeared out of nowhere. And he engines robot. up. He actually throws them. That's really cool. So yeah, this is the only boss battle in Crash 2 that I'll consider to be a real challenge. This one is a bit hard. Oh, jeez. And unlike the other bosses, uh, Dr. Engine's got more than three uh, hit points. So yeah. We've almost broken one of his uh, claw things. Now let's break the other one. Come on. Oh, they're both fizzling now. Come on. Oh, crap. Super dodging skills activate. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. He kind of looks like a big daddy with those uh, drill-like things on his hands. Okay. Oh. Come on. Come on. Break it. Break it. Come on, Crash. The power of Whopper Fruits compels you. Yeah, that's right. Break one of your arms. Haha, <laughs> that's right, punk. Okay, come on. we got one more. Oh crap, oh jeez, okay, super dodging skills! Oh jeez, okay. Come on, let's wreck this guy. Come on, uh, uh, come on! Ah, uh, come on, open up your stupid hand! Come on, I wanna wreck you! Oh! Oh! Yeah, there you go! I bet that was expensive too. Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked, engine! Oh great, here come the rockets, okay. Now we're gonna shoot at the rocket entryway. Come on, Crash, go! Come on! We need a better aim than that! Oh yeah, because it said that moving affects your aim or something, didn't it? In the loading screen. Oh crap, okay. Come on. Okay. Okay, at least he tells us where the rockets are going to be with the uh, little uh, indicator there, so that's nice. You're just sabotaging yourself here, engine. You idiot. Jeez. Alright, come on. One of them's almost broken. The left one's almost gone. Oh, now the right one's almost gone too. Okay, come on. We're close. Crash, we're close. Come on, come on. We're almost there. Come on. Come on, let's break 01 first. Let's break 01. Let's break him. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. It's almost. There we go. 01 is out of here. Now let's break 02. Come on, Crash. Let's do it. Ah, we gotta beat him, man. You're not getting these crystals, engine. Come on. Come on. Break 02. Break 02, Crash. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was close. Lucky I was paying attention. And 02 is out of here. Heck yeah. Oh, what's he gonna do now? Oh, crap. See, we need to shoot that green thing when he tries to shoot us, but, uh, yeah. I didn't have enough time there. Let's try that again. Oh, um, no. I'm not over there, engine. What are you doing? I'm not over there. So, yeah, the platforms respawn once he shoots them, like that. Uh, engine, I'm not over there. I'm to the left. Are you stupid? Are you stupid or something? You need to come to me. I can't come to you. I'll also die. Come to me, engine. Are you trolling me? Come to me. Uh, to the left. No, 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 to the left, a little bit more than that. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop it. Come to me. Finally. Gosh. All right, now we can jump. So we shot him a little bit there. And then we're just going to shoot him a little bit more. All right, come on. Go. Ah, got him. That was easy. Get wrecked, engine. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Go to space, man. Mech wrecked. That's right. He got mech wrecked, all right. Ha, <laughs> ha. Suck on that, engine. No crystals for you, and no crystals for Cortex either. Oh man, we're just the best. Oh no, Cortex is going to be mad at us now, because he knows. He's probably going to know that we suspect something, so oh, he's going to be mad at us. But we've still got one warp room to go, and five more crystals to go before we can end this adventure. Alright, and a bunch of gems to go too. Alright, let's go to the final warp room. Let's do this. Oh no, Cortex is going to be mad. Come on, I don't care. Bring it on, bro. Come at me. What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Oh, jeez, he sounded kind of scary there for a second. Bring them to me! 
Jeez, he was kind of intense there for a second. Okay, piston it away. Clear gems often appear at the end of death routes, yes. So guys, this level is kind of tricky. There is a death route, and it is possible to get the crystal, the box gem, and the death route gem in one run, but you have to be a bit sneaky here. So yeah, it's a bit tricky, so I'll show you guys how to do it. And it involves a bit of backtracking too. Let's get an Aku Aku there. It's good. Oh jeez, and yep, that's where the title comes in. There's lots of pistons in this level, and weird robots too, so... Technically, we're in the Cortex Vortex now, which is a Cortex of Space Station. Alright, whoop. Okay, run, run, run. And these weird tentacle things. I'm going to have to be careful with those enemies because I have a feeling they're the kinds of enemies that are going to have really bad hitboxes. Like, I bet if I touch those tentacles, I'm going to get shocked. Even though that doesn't happen in the original, I bet it will happen here. That's so annoying. Alright, let's break all these boxes. Alright, Body Slam! Let's spin that away. See, so you need to slide attack these uh, robots here because they got burny things on the sides, so you can't spin them. And you have to jump on those uh, tentacle guys. But there are a variation of them where you have to slide them because they got their tentacles up. Oh, just like that. You need to slide these guys. Alright, and slide this one. But this one's sneaky. See, he changes. You have to be careful. Alright, jump. Oh, that was close. Okay, careful. These pistons don't want to get crushed. Alright, slide. There we go. Slide this guy. And slide that guy. And slide that guy again. <laughs> There's a lot of sliding in this level. Alright, cool. Alright, careful. Don't want to hit those nitros. Because I need my Aku Aku. I really need it. Especially for the death route. And for the backtracking too. Alright, come on, let's wait. Slide. Good. Slide. Okay, good. Go down, pistons. I don't even care. Alright. Checkpoint. Good. Well, there's the crystal. I might come back for it though. Because I think I can come back for the crystal. Alright, slide. Alright, gotta be careful this guy. Quick! No, I couldn't make that. I thought I was gonna slide, but I couldn't make it. I had to jump. So you see this guy down here, guys? Don't kill him. Leave him alone. The reason why you shouldn't kill him is because you need him for later on. You need him for the backtracking, so remember that. Alright, so let's just uh, skip the bonus area for now. I want to go to the end of the level and come back. Alright, get rid of you. Get out of here. Oh, and also, with those lasers, guys, not a lot of people know this, but you can actually spin the lasers away. Uh, some people think, uh, just like the logs in the uh, Road to Ruin level, you have to, like, jump over them, but you can actually spin them away. It's actually a pretty sneaky little trick. I don't think a lot of people know about that. Alright, get rid of you. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it for that life, man. I've got 99 lives, it doesn't matter. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, 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 calm down. Why did he jump forward? I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen in the original. Okay, get rid of you. Alright, so that's it. Now we can backtrack. There's no more boxes here. Alright, go! Slide jump. Oh man, the camera's kind of if we have to be careful here. Alright, slide jump. Slide jump. Avoid this piston. Now we can go back to the bonus area. Nice. Slide and jump. Whoop, okay. Okay, you gotta be careful here. Spin! See, you can just spin the laser away. <laughs> In what world can you just spin lasers away? In Crash Bandicoot's world, that's where. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, this bonus area is kind of annoying. So hopefully we can get through this unscathed, but I highly doubt it. But it's okay, we've got two Aku Aku, so it's not a problem. Alright, come on. Let's go these pistons, and here we go. And that's the reason why it's annoying, because of these nitro boxes. Because I have to backtrack past these nitro boxes. But in the original, you can jump around them. But I don't know if you can jump around them here. <laughs> So now that we triggered that, we have to go back now and hit those boxes that we triggered. Oh jeez, why do they jump so high? Those nitro boxes shouldn't jump so high. Can I jump around it? Ah, no, I couldn't jump around it. I tried. It's alright. It doesn't matter. That's the only really annoying part of this bonus area. Alright, come on. Alright, cool. Alright, extra life. It's on one prefer it. <laughs> Things that I totally need. It's not like I have 99 lives or anything. Jeez. I don't know how I would have made it past that without jumping around it. It's kind of weird, but oh well. Doesn't matter. Slide and jump. Whee! I'm gonna have to slide again. Slide and jump! Okay, that was really close. But we did it! Heck yeah. Now back to the main area for some more backtracking. Oh yeah. Don't we just love backtracking? <laughs> no, not at all. I don't like backtracking. It's kind of annoying, but uh, we gotta do it anyway for the box gem. Alright. So now you guys will see why we had to not kill that uh, tentacle robot. For this reason. Jump! 
See, without him, we wouldn't have been able to make that. That's why you have to not kill him until that point there. All right, here comes the death route. Let's do this. Come on, bring it on. Death routes don't scare me. I can do this. Spin these boxes. All right, come on. Go. Oh, jeez. You got to time that just right. I hope I'll be okay with just one Aku Aku. That's right. Get wrecked by Nitro. Get wrecked by Nitro? No, he didn't get wrecked by Nitro. But that's okay. He got wrecked by Slide. Oh. I knew it! I knew if he jumped on those tentacles, it was going to get me hurt. Ah, oh, man. Well, this is a checkpoint. That's good. Hate those guys. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh, why did I do that? I shouldn't have jumped back. Ah, oh, man. I was nervous there. I hesitated. I shouldn't have jumped back like that. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let's try that again. Spin that. Whoa, okay. That was close. Jump and jump and... What? How was I supposed to make that? How was I supposed to make that? Are you kidding me? Oh, let's try that again. Alright, jump. Oh man, this part's really annoying. I'm probably gonna die here again. Spin that and... Ah, oh, I knew it! It just shrinks me out of existence. That's great. Ah, oh, stupid laser. Okay, come on. Jump! Spin these guys. Okay, come on, come on, I can do this. Alright, there we go. That's better. Now make the jump this time. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to make that jump? It's too far away. Oh, maybe I need to slide jump when I um go to those tentacle monsters. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was almost so perfect. Are you kidding me? Man, this death rat is a real challenge, that's for sure. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, I can do this. I believe in myself. I'm a Crash Bandicoot Pro, man. All right, come on. Come on, I can do it. Oh, okay, I didn't need to slide jump. Yeah, I mean, I thought that might work, but then I thought, oh, maybe it won't. Yeah, I guess it didn't work. Well, it might have worked, but I didn't need it. Whatever. Box gem, please. Heck yeah, there's the box gem. Sweet, so we got everything in... Oh, no, I missed the crystal. I forgot to go back and get the crystal. Oh, no. I missed the crystal again, just like I did in Road to Ruin. Oh, man, I gotta go back into that level again, guys. Actually, no, that's probably good, because that way I can get uh, two Waku Wakus again. And I might even get invincibility. Nice. So Actually, that's okay. I don't mind going back into that level again. All right, that's not a big deal. All right, pull that out of your butt! I gotta say that at least once in every video. <laughs> Alright, puke out that one. Alright, yeah, to the crash dance, to the crash dance. I'm kind of disappointed, though, that I missed that crystal. Oh, well. Alright, come on, crash. Go back in. Got to get that crystal, man. <sighs> it's not a big deal. We can just speed run this level now. So yeah, uh, this warp room, in my opinion, is way easier than the last one. These levels aren't too bad, especially uh, the jetpack levels. We get our jetpack levels later on, and they are ridiculously easy. They are so easy. The controls are a bit iffy, but besides that, they're pretty easy. All right. Sweet. Aku Aku. We don't need to get the boxes. We're just trying to get the crystal here. All right. Come on. Slide you. Okay, go crash, go! Speed run, man! Ah, I hate those tentacle things. They're so annoying. Get wrecked, man! Okay, cool. Oh, wait for you. Alright, you're gone. Get rid of you. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, I got rid of him as well! Double kill! Nice. You gotta love it when you get a double kill like that. Slide. And slide this guy, because I don't go down. This guy does, though. He's so annoying. He's a bit of a troll, that one. This guy is too. Stinking trolls. Still trying to troll me. Ah. I guess the crystal can't troll me too, didn't it? Ugh. Oh, jeez. That was lucky. Lucky I can make that in time. Alright, go, go, go. There's some more luck right there. <laughs> Alright, get rid of you. Get the crystal. Not forgetting it this time. Get out of here. Sweet, we got two Akuakos. Yeah, I think I'm maybe not going to get invincibility. I'm not sure. I don't think I will. Get rid of you. I can kill you this time, because now I don't need to backtrack. Alright, cool. Whoa, that was close. Alright. Slide jump. Slide jump. Get rid of you. Run, crash, run. Checkpoint. Get out of here, guy. Get out of here, guy number two. <laughs> Nameless minions. Alright, get out of here. Come on. Rah! That's right. Get out of here. 
All right, cool. We're nearing the end now. Yeah, I mean, this level is pretty easy if you're just playing it normally. You're just trying to get the crystal, not the gems. Get wrecked, man. You're fired. All right, cool. There we go. Oh, man, that was annoying. I wish I didn't have to do that a second time, but oh well. At least I got my Aku Aku's back, so that's nice. Oh, yeah. Back to the warp room we go. I really like the music in that level too. It's really cool in this remastering. But yeah, like I said, for the most part, the music is really well done in this remastering. They managed to make it, you know, sound kind of the same, but make it sound good. I already said this stuff. You guys know what I mean. But I'm running out of things to talk about in these games. <laughs> and also, those loading screens are ridiculously long, and it's kind of hard to find things to talk about. So yeah. Oh yeah, there's the crystal. Now we can go to Rock It. And yes, that's a pun. Rock It. Don't you just love puns? Well, Crash loves puns. Okay, invert your flight controls in the options menu. Alright, cool. I'll remember that, I suppose. I don't want to invert my controls. Who inverts their controls? That's stupid. Ugh. Alright, so here we go into a jetpack level. I quite like these jetpack levels. I think they're rather infamous among the Crash community, but I quite like them. Because the controls are a bit iffy. But yeah, let's do this. I still remember the controls from the original Crash 2. Oh, this is so cool. I love... I love the music in this level as well. It's just so cool. It's so sci-fi-y and awesome. Don't know how else to describe it. Sci-fi-y. That's a word now, apparently. <laughs> Alright. No, oh, I hate those red circle things. Alright. You can go back when you're on a jetpack, can't you? I'm pretty sure you can go backwards. Oh, yeah, you can. Let's get away from that TNT. Get those Wampa Fruits. Alright, so yeah, there's uh, two of these jetpack levels, and they're pretty short. Yeah, I remember as a kid, I used to have a Crash Bandicoot toy, which was, um, it was like an action figure of Crash Bandicoot uh, wearing this jetpack. I don't know if I still have it somewhere, I might. I had a bunch of Crash Bandicoot toys as a kid. I had a Coco toy as well, but her head was really big, and I think her head ended up coming off, which is a shame. And I had a few, like, uh, box toys as well. There was a TNT box and uh, a question mark box, I think, as well, and a Nitro. Oh god, I hate those wires. But yeah, my favorite toy was the Crash Bandicoot with the jetpack. Oh, jeez. you got to be careful with those things. Ah, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good. That was close. Spin this. Gosh. That guy reminds me of uh, the assistants from the lab, where they shock you. Oh, I hate those guys. Get out of here. This isn't the lab. Go back to the lab, man. Yeah, this is interesting, because those are the same minions that attack you in Crash 1, and those minions work for Cortex, so Brio apparently has the same minions working for him. That's kind of weird. So I guess uh, Cortex and Brio have the same minions? That's a bit unusual. Man, I'm just really digging this music. It's so awesome. Whoa, jeez. That was close. Ah, no! Almost missed the crystal again. Come on, get, get the crystal. You're touching the crystal, Crash! What the heck was that? I was touching it and he wasn't grabbing it. Are you kidding me? Can you not grab the crystal when you're going backwards? I guess that's the case because he wasn't grabbing it for some reason. Jeez, Crash. What's going on, man? All right, we're done here. Awesome. Spin that. Hopefully I didn't miss any boxes. No, I didn't. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There's the gem. All right, yeah. So those jetpack levels are really easy. So, yeah. There's only one other jetpack level, which is called uh, Pack Attack, but that's not the next level. Uh, the next level is Night Fight. And this level is very similar to Totally Fly. I actually quite like those levels. It's like a jungle level, which I quite like. Anyway, I quite like jungle levels, but this level is at, at night time. So yeah, it's interesting. A lot like Totally Fly, but uh, this level is a lot easier than Totally Fly. I think, from, from what I remember. Oh yeah, and there's the gem. Oh yeah, to the crash dance, to the crash dance, to the crash dance. Go, 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 go. Wow! Sweet. Okay, good. Now let's go into Night Fight! Oh yeah! Friendly fireflies will help light your way. I'm pretty sure that was the same tip that we saw in uh, Totally Fly. So yeah, in all of the levels in this warp room, there's no secret areas, no nothing. I mean, there is death routes, but uh, no, sorry, there's one death route. No, two death routes and uh, one gem area, I believe. But besides that, there's no real secret areas that lead to the secret warp room. We've already done all that stuff, so that's good. So this warp room is nice and easy in my opinion. It's not too difficult. Alright. Ah, stinking possums, get out of here. Alright, ah, go back to the Road to Ruin level, man. That's where you belong. Oh, heck yeah, invincibility, nice. So I believe this level has a death route, I think. But there's a sneaky way to do it, actually. You don't actually have to do the death route. There is boxes down there, so you need to do the death route to get the boxes. But there's a sneaky way you can backtrack, which is a lot easier. Alright, come on. Get out of here, man. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to do it this sneak. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Okay. Stinking lizard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to do the sneaky backtracking thing there in order to get the box gem because, uh, yeah, it's kind of impossible to do it this other way because of the darkness of the fireflies. Alright. Slide jump. No, I hate these robots. Go away. It's not some stinking robot dance party, man. Go to Totally Fly if you want that. No, no, no. There's no robot dance party here. Get out of here, man. And you weren't invited, Mr. Fruinek Lizard. Gosh. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Go back to heavy machinery, man. In uh, Crash 1. Alright, down we go. Alright. Let's go, man. Hey. Oh, wait, what? Ah, crap. I, uh... He did that thing again where he was supposed to grab onto the platform and he didn't. Ah, oh, seriously, Crash? Let's try that again. I wasted my Akuakus too, didn't I? Uh, let's just uh, get something from there. Yeah, so I just went ahead real quick just to break that box. That way I can have more time for the Firefly. Jeez. Alright, there we go. Hang on, let me break these boxes first before I grab the next Firefly. Because I don't want it going away before I can uh, get all the boxes. Alright, let's go back. Grab the Firefly. Now go. Alright, come on. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Quick crash. Cruel quick, man. Oh, no. See? That's why I needed to break those boxes first. Ugh, oh, right, cool. Alright, back into the fray, man. Back into the darkness and fray. Alright, slide jump. Slide jump. Cool. Alright, here comes the backtracking part. Alright, let's go back. Slide jump. So this is the death route. But ah -ha! Seriously? Oh, yeah, this is the death route. Dies instantly. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Let's try that again. At least the checkpoint isn't too far away from the uh, death route itself. So that's good. See, I used to do the sneaky backtracking move. We can get the gen that's right near the end of the death route and the rest of the boxes too. All right, cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. All right, come on, Crash. Don't fail on me now, man. Don't fall into a pit. And don't have an enemy randomly appear out of nowhere like that guy that gets to be killed. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, crap. I can't see. Get out of here, man. Oop, there's the gem. Cool. So I'm pretty sure that's everything now. We've got all the boxes, and we've got the death route gem. So now we can go back and complete this level normally. So that's the sneaky method you can use, guys. You don't have to do the death route the whole way through. But yeah, but like I said, I'm pretty sure you have to do that. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Damn. Well, at least I've already got the gem, but I have to go back again to get those boxes. I think there's only two boxes anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, come on, Crash. We can do this. Alright, let's go down the death route again. Third time's the charm, right? No, don't abandon me, Mr. Firefly. I need you. Seriously, why can't I just use Aku Aku to light my way? Just like in Lights Out in the first game. It doesn't make any sense, because Aku Aku decides that he now doesn't want to light you away. It's so weird. He should just be able to do that. I don't know why they changed it to Fireflies. It's so weird. I don't know. Alright, cool. Checkpoint. Nice. Awesome. We don't have to do that again. Ah, robot trying to get me killed, man. Don't much appreciate that. Ah, get out of here, lizard. Okay, we should be nearing the end now. Get out of here, man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like how they give you a firefly right near the exit. I don't know what the point of that is, because there's light in here. What do I need a firefly for? Ah, whatever. Okay, guys, so that's everything in Night Fight completed. We're doing good so far. The only tragedy was missing the crystal and a piston it away. <laughs> but besides that, this video's been going perfect so far. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Okay, so next up is a uh, pack attack, which is the second uh, jetpack level, or the second and final jetpack level. All right, come on, let's do it. So we should have everything in night fight now. Yep, there's the crystal. There's the box gem, and the death rat gem is up his butt. What a nice place to be. <laughs> Alright, so just like a rocket pack attack, it's just got one crystal and one gem. There's nothing secret about these uh, rocket areas. They're both pretty simple, really. But yeah, let's do this. Alright, pack attack. Invert your flight controls in the options menu. I already know that, and it's a pretty useless hint. Why would I want to invert my flight controls? That's probably one of the stupidest things you can do in a video game, man. Alright, come on, let's do this. Let's get our jetpack. Yeah, this thing, by the way, is very different. That thing that pops up wasn't in the original. I think the jetpack was just there, and then Crash just grabbed it and put it on. But yeah. Ah, oh, great, there's wires. 
Gotta be careful not to touch those flame tubes too. The flame tubes from Heavy Machinery make their reappearance in this game. Ugh. Seriously, what is the point of these lasers? What is their function? What is their purpose? I mean, because this is Cortex's Cortex Vortex, so why is he putting these obstacles here to kill me when I'm the one trying to get crystals for him? Jeez, what a jerk. I mean, I know he probably suspects me by this point, but still. Ah, crap. Alright, get out of here. Yeah, considering these uh, enemies appear in the Cortex Vortex, are they Cortex's minions? So Cortex is an idiot, why is he trying to kill me? When I still got crystals to collect, man. Jeez. Alright, checkpoint. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this before, but yeah, now Cortex knows that uh, we're possibly working for Brio because he says that Brio is the one uh, sending all the enemies after us, so he's aware of that now. <laughs> it certainly took him a while to figure that out, didn't it? Ugh. Jeez, Cortex, I thought you were supposed to be smart. Alright, come on, stupid guy. Get out of here. Ah! That's right. Stupid villain death scream. Alright, break that box. Break that box. No, no, no. Break it. There we go. Now we go. Checkpoint. Alright, we should be nearing the end now. Oh, jeez. I don't want to touch those uh, heat pipes. Ah, oh, crap. What the heck? Oh, what just happened? Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Get wrecked, man. Alright, gotta be careful here. There's a whole cross of nitros here. You can barely see. Alright, there's the crystal. <laughs> I just barely saw that, by the way. I only noticed it after I grabbed it. I probably could have missed that one, too. Jeez, man, these crystals are sneaky. Maybe Cortex was right. Alright, there we go. Now we've only got one crystal to go. There's the box gem for pack attack. Nice. Yeah, pack attack. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a, a pun on, like, an old Pac-Man game. I think there was an old Pac-Man game called pack attack. I think that's supposed to be a pun on that. I'm not 100% sure, but, yeah, again, that would have been released, like, back in the 80s or 90s or something. I, I don't know. Pack attack. Yeah, I don't know. So, okay, guys, we're going up to the final level, Spaced Out. Oh, so, right near the end, guys. And after we do Spaced Out, we're going to fight against Cortex. And, yes, I'm going to fight against Cortex in this uh, video, guys. And there's a reason why I'm going to do that. And that's because um, in this game, there's two endings just like Crash 1. There's an ending you get for like, getting all the crystals and beating Cortex. And then there's an ending for getting all the gems. So, you see, guys, there's two gems in Spaced Out. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, hang on. Unlock a new path by earning all of the colored gems. Yes, that's right. It's just like, uh, uh, it's kind of like the Great Hall. You need to get all of the colored gems in order to uh, unlock the last gem path in order to get the last gem. But what I'm going to do in this video is only get one of the gems in Spaced Out and the Crystal and then fight Cortex. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because um, if I get both of the gems, it's going to show me the secret ending straight away. But if I only get one of the gem, I can show you guys the first ending first. And then in the next video, I'll get the final gem. Uh, I think you need to beat Cortex again. And then you get the secret ending. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. Okay? So there's the uh, color gem path. I'm not going to get the gem there just yet. I'll do that in the next video. I'm just going to get the box gem for this level. Avoid these weird uh, fiery platforms. I don't know why they exist. Alright. Slide jump. Alright, we've got to be careful here. Ah, gotcha. Nice. Alright, checkpoint. You're just like pissing it away. This level isn't too difficult. I mean, the uh, color gem path is pretty difficult, but the level itself isn't too bad. Alright, go on. Whoop. That was close. Alright, take that tentacle monster. Oh, jeez. Okay. Gotta be careful with this guy. Because in this game, they push me back. I'm pretty sure they don't do that in the uh, original. Like, he actually pushes me back and then follows me. That's kind of weird. Ugh. Okay, checkpoint. Alright, come on, guy. Slide you. Alright, jump on you. Nice. Alright, these stinking pistons. Get out of here, man. Alright, let's go to the bonus area. This one's not as bad as the uh, piston away bonus area, in my opinion. Alright, come on, quick, before it goes up. Good. Alright, spin all these. I could technically make this bonus round a lot easier by, like, going to the end of the level, breaking the green exclamation mark box, and destroying the nitros, and then coming back, but, meh, where's the fun in that? So for this part, you need to do this. You need to jump up here. You're not going to be able to break those boxes. I don't even think you'll be able to get past them if you don't do that. Alright, crap, this part is a bit difficult. Oh, crap, nope. I knew that was going to happen. Gosh, Jana, I knew I should have jumped on top of those boxes, man. Uh, okay, let's try that again. 
Come on, Crash, you can do this. I believe in you. I believe in us. I believe in the ETH Ghost Boom community because we're all awesome. Especially the people that watch my Crash videos. You guys are extra awesome. Heck yeah. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Come on. Jump, Crash, jump. And Body Slam! Heck yeah. Using those WWE moves right there. There we go. That's what we're supposed to do. Nice. Because, yeah, there's just no way I can do it by uh, jumping in the middle there. Because I'm just going to fall off. Unless I'm extremely lucky or have really good timing. But it's just easy to do it this way. Come on, Crash. Come on, come on. Get all those juicy Wumpa Fruits. Apparently, they've got purple juice. I was reading about some Crash merchandise recently. And apparently, the Wumpa Fruits have got purple juice. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, then. I'd like to eat a Wumpa Fruit. If they are real. I don't think they are real. I'd like to eat one one day if I could. Yeah, Activision makes some uh, Wampa Fruits and sell them to the public. <laughs> I don't know, some genetically modified Wampa Fruits. Oh, that was close. Oh, are you kidding me? Crap. Wait for this guy. Alright, good. Slide. Ah, oh, darn, I didn't spin it in time. Ah, oh, man. Okay, try that again. Come on, come on. Alright, be careful this time. Spin that. Alright. Slide. Get past these pistons. Come on, crash. Alright, come on. There we go. That's better. Alright, checkpoint. Okay. Spin. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was close. And that was cool. Crash did a bit of a slide spin there. He was kind of on an angle there. That's really cool. I mean, I know you can do that, but I didn't do that intentionally. Alright, crystal. Good. Oh, crap. Get rid of you, man. Get out of here. Ah, crap. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're at the end of this video, anyway. Come on, box jam. Heck yeah. All right, cool, guys. All right. Now Cortex is going to reveal his plans to us, and we're going to face him in the final showdown of Crash 2. All right, let's do this. Oh, man, you guys ready to fight Cortex? Because I'm ready. Let's kick that guy's butt, because Cortex's boss battle in Crash 2 is pathetically easy. It's way easier than the Crash 1 boss battle. It's just really, really easy. Cortex doesn't even fight back here. All he does is try to run away. Alright, Cortex is going to try to talk to us here, but he's going to reveal to us his master plan. Alright. Yeah, puke that out, man. Come on. Alright, final Crash Dance. Do the Crash Dance. Do the Crash Dance. Go, go, go. Whoa! Alright, here it comes. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. Engine! What's happening? What's that? Is she stealing our signal? Crash, Cortex isn't gonna use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's gonna harness the force and use it to power the Super Cortex Vortex he's built on his space station. One blast and the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash, don't let him have those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Oh, yes, we're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals! Well, I'm going to bring you something, Cortex, but it's not going to be crystals. It's going to be a butt whooping. All right, let's do this, guys. Dr. Neo Cortex. All right. Oh, man, I'm ready for a fight. Damage his jetpack to keep him from escaping. All right. Yeah, so this boss fight is pretty easy, man. And once we're done with this, we can end the video after we get the first ending. All right. We're mad. Crash is mad. Cortex lied to us. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's liars. Let's do this. Let's kick his butt. Oh no, he's got a crystal! Whoa, whoa! Okay, that area right there, that starting area, wasn't there in the original. That was really cool. Okay, get him, Crash! We can't let him have that crystal! Come on, spin him! Ah, crap, I need to get closer. Come on! Come on, Crash! Uh, come on! Nice, we got him! Now, we've got to be careful not to run into these meteorites and these bombs. But that's the thing, though. Even if you run into the bombs, they don't actually kill you. So there's no way to die in this boss battle, and there's no way to lose. Well, actually, there is a way to lose. If you don't beat Cortex in time and he makes it to the end, then we'll lose. But we can't die here, so we just need to be as fast as we can and get him. Come on, he's only got one more health point. Come on, this is so easy. We almost got him, Crash. Come on. Got him. 
Heck yeah, you can't have that crystal, man. Cortex inadequate. Wait, what? Speed shoes to run faster, hold down R2 button while running? What? Okay. You haven't seen the last of me, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, don't doubt that, Cortex. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get the first ending now, guys. Okay, we get to keep the crystals too. Nice. And we got the speed shoes. That's interesting. That must be for the time trials and the relics and stuff. Alright, here comes the ending. Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. Yeah, so technically that's kind of the bad ending, I guess. Cortex is still okay, and he's still gotten away with what he's done. So we need to stop him, and the only way we can do that is by getting the rest of the gems, but we, we only need to get one more gem and spaced out. Alright guys, so that's the ending of Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, and there's going to be one more video on this game where I'll get the final gem. Uh, I think I need to defeat Cortex again, and then we'll get the secret ending. Okay guys, so that was really awesome. So, you know, we've basically done almost everything of Crash 2, and I just want to say now, this remastering was done so, so well. Um, so yeah, there will be one more video on Crash 2, but let me know in the comments below, guys, if you want to see me do Crash 3 as well. Because I'll probably do Crash 3 anyway, but if you guys want to see the videos, I'll release those. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much done here, guys. Alright, guys, so, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like. Please subscribe to the channel if it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone!